to the Lighthouse Mission at this church. We are blessed to have you in our service today. Those who are now tuning and those who will be tuning as our service progresses, we thank God for you. And those who will be tuning in at some point throughout the day, even on the week, we thank God for you as well. Because of you, we are blessed. Our call to worship. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. you to read along with me as we read our statement of belief and read as follows. We believe that God is the creator of all things and that his son Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary and died on Calvary's cross to be the ransom for our sins. We believe in the Holy Spirit who is our God and comforter as we journey through this life. We believe that all scripture is the absolute and inspired word of God, our roadmap and guide as to how we are to live our lives. We further believe that the church is a people called by God to spread the good news of the gospel to the entire world and to support, edify, and lift up his members in their time of need. Those that may know this song, we invite you to sing along with us. One of the great hymns of the church, revive us again. We praise thee, O God, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now born above. Hallelujah, thy the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thy the glory. Revive us again. We praise thee, O God, for the spirit of light who has shown us our Savior and Chef scattered our night. Hallelujah, done the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, done the glory. Revive us again. All oh, glory and praise to the land that was slain. Who has borne all our sins and has cleansed every stain? Hallelujah, done of glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, done of glory. Revive us again. Revive us again. Fill his heart with thy love. May his soul be rekindled with fire from the God. Hallelujah, thine of glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine of glory. Revive us again. Our scripture lesson today is taken from Psalm the 23rd Division. The most 
love and use passages of scripture beloved by many in the, in the Christian church. In Psalm 23 reads as follows, Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I read in, here, in your hearing <coughs> Psalm 23. May God bless and edify it to our hearts. As we prepare to go into prayer to our God and to our Creator, I encourage you as I always do to remember your family, your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers, those you pass on the street, those you may know who have been ended up on the wrong paths in life. Of course, the bottom line, as we always say in my house, is no matter who they are or what station they may be in life, everyone stands in the need of prayer. Father, we Thank you. We praise you. We give you all glory and honor, even right now. We thank you, Father, for your bountiful blessings this past week. We thank you for our rising up and our lying down. We thank you for keeping us safe from hurt, harm, and danger, both seen and unseen, as we journey through this life. We thank you for being a great, loving, long-suffering, and gracious God, one that reigns high but always looks low to see about your children. We thank you, Father, a portion of strength and health for providing the basic necessities that we need in this life. We thank you for your son Jesus who died that we might have life. And of course, we thank you for the Holy Spirit that continues to guide us down these mundane shores we call life. We thank you, Father. Because without you, we would be nothing. Without you, we would have nothing in this life. And without your son, we will be doomed to eternity in Hades. So, Father, we just thank you this morning. From the bottom of our heart, we, we love you, we praise you, we give you all honor and all glory. We pray, Father, for our church membership. We pray for our absentee membership that you will bring them back. We pray for our sick and our shut-ins. We pray for those that may be hospitalized. We pray for all our brothers and sisters in the Lord. But then, Father, we recognize that we have sinned for all show your glory. Something said, thought, or done that may have offended someone or caused hurt or pain. 
We ask that you feed us right now. Lord, we ask for you cleanse me right now. We ask for your strength right now, Lord, because we recognize that we cannot battle Satan by ourselves. That it will take you, Lord, and your strength to hold us up, to keep us strong, Lord, to keep us steadfast and unmovable in the midst of all the temptations that Satan constantly throws our way. So bless us, Father, throughout the service as we sing, as we praise, as we hear the word from on high. Bless the word, Lord, that will be shared on this day. Bless it as it goes forth, Lord, that it might have great clarity, understanding that it might go forth with power. That some heart might be touched today, some soul revived and made happy. Father, bless our efforts and our aim. Bless all that we do in this life, Lord. But let all that we do be according to your will, and not that of our own. Continue, Lord, to place your mighty hand upon the lighthouse as we. Continue, Lord, in our ministry and our mission to reach out, to give back, to provide for the residents of this community as you have blessed us to do. Bless our first lady who is away. Just have your way, Lord, with all of us. All this day, Lord, both assembled with those who are viewing and will be viewing on our life. Facebook live stream platform. Father, just have your way. Move us only you can in the midst of our lives. We give you the praise, we give you the honor, we certainly give you the glory. In Jesus' master's name. Amen. Let you sing along with me as we attempt to sing Amazing Grace. be followed by our message for the day. Amazing grace is him 132. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Was grieved that taught. My heart to thee and raise my fears be really how fresh just did that grace of thee. The I first believe Yeah. 
You don't have to remain in a state of hopelessness. And the only way for all of us to make it temporary and not to be a, a long-term burden on us is to push on. To push through the valley until you get to the other side. Rising from the valley of despair is a journey fraught with shadows and pain. Yet hope blooms like a fragile flower, pushing through the cracks in the landscape of our hearts. David talks about walking through the valley of the shadow of death in Psalm 23 and 4 with these words. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, you are riding and your staff, they comfort me. This verse, Lighthouse, indicates that God is present in the lives of his children. Even when we face our valleys in life, David believed that even as he goes through trying time, that God is with him. He even suggests that God's rod and staff give him comfort. The Bible suggests that valleys are a part of life. Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 11 tells us this. But the land that you are going over to possess is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water by the rain from heaven. This verse can be understood to mean that valleys are inevitable since we cannot avoid them. But what do valleys mean in the Bible? Many believe that valleys are a place of fertility. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 7 to 9 suggests that a valley has many features that sustain life as well as a place of sadness and sorrow. Valleys are a place where fig trees, barley and olive trees, and wheat grow, and where there, there is free flowing water and greenery to sustain wildlife, which shows us that a valley is part of God's plan for everyone. But the good news today, Lighthouse, is that we do not have to remain in our valleys of despair, as the world had, would have us to believe. The 23rd Psalm gives us hope and shows all of us that there is light at the end of the, of the tunnels of our valleys of despair. God is our loving shepherd. He leads us to peaceful places where our souls from find nourishment and tranquility. He provides physical rest, but also restores our inner being. When we feel weary or broken, he renews our strength and our purpose. Always remember our actions reflect his character, and that even in life's darkest moments, we think everything has fallen apart. And we have, we have no hope that God remains with us. The ultimate hope for all who believe lies in dwelling eternally in God's presence. A truly great promise of everlasting fellowship. God is always with us. No matter how daunting our future may look to us. No matter how dark our lives have become. No matter how hopeless we think things have become which looks like we have no way out. God is always with us. And as I said before and, and close again with this, the ultimate hope for all who believe lies in dwelling eternally in God's presence. Truly our promise of everlasting fellowship. 
all those who have faith in God rising from the valley of despair. You're viewing today and you're going through something. You don't see no end in sight. You just know that God is still present with you. He hasn't left you and he will not leave you. The only thing you have to do is to reach out and to grab hold with his hand. But to call out to him. And I guarantee you, he will answer. We want to open the door of the church for a brief moment to issue the call to discipleship. We are commanded by God to do that, to do this each and every Sunday. Because we never know whose heart he has prepared, whether it be in person or on the Facebook live stream. So we don't want to miss an opportunity. To wish you to call the discipleship to bring more brothers and sisters back in to the family of God. So the call goes out. <coughs> Those who may be viewing, they've been invited by someone to uh, view our services today. The call goes out to you. We have not received Christ. The call goes to you to make today this decision, today that you make that decision to give yourself and your life over to Christ. If you're here today, you're in between churches, uh, because it's something may have happened in your prior church, they may have caused some hurt and pain, or may have aggravated you to the point where you just stepped aside from church for a, a while and said, to you, God's calling you as well to come back into fellowship that you can be prayed for by the saints, that you can be in the midst and build each other up. God wants you back into his form. And then those who may uh, be with the, the viewing it, that is to serve as him, has been away from God for so very long that you feel so you have no more faith left in God. We say to you, briefly, that God's calling you as well. He wants you to stop running and hiding. Give yourself over to, to Him. And see how your life can change. God's knocking on the hearts of everyone, especially those that God really wants to come back into His family. The question is, are we listening? And also, will we answer the knock on the door? God's calling out to us today. Hopefully, we'll your answer will be. But that said, we remind you to read everything that's been posted from our announcements to all the flyers. And that you might be on one accord with us, especially. Upcoming event, uh, a clothing giveaway on the first Saturday of June. Come out and be a part of the experience with us. We'd love to have you as we uh, continue on the ministry to give back and provide clothes for those in, in the community that may not have sufficient clothes to wear each and every day. With all that said, please read the scripture and say how God speaks to your heart. And God bless you. And have a smile upon each and every one of you. And we'll see you same place, same time, same station. <laughs>